Oh. Tonight at 8 p.m., watch Storm Stories. Relive the power. Hurricane Andrew is now making landfall of the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. Devastation. Plus, a tornado rips through a house. Throwing mother and daughter 300 feet. How do they make it through? The house basically was gone. Watch Storm Stories on the Weather Channel tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the ace. watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. Well, if you didn't like the chilly conditions and the windy conditions out there around the nation's capital on Friday, just wait. Changes are on the way. We'll have the details just ahead. And that rain that kept the Midwest chilly and wet is now moving toward the east. Cleveland, Pittsburgh both have seen rain this morning. Coming up, we'll tell you who's in for a wet weekend. Kelsey Kinsley here with the Weather Channel Road Crew in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where the Fiesta, the Balloon Fiesta, is just kicking off, and we'll be here all morning. Keep watching right here, Weekend Planner. Live from the Weather Channel, this is Weekend Planner. Well, good morning and welcome to Weekend Planner. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Bill Keneally. Thanks again for joining us and making us a part of your Saturday morning. And even though, Kelly, it'll be chilly out there today, anything has to be better than yesterday's rain and cold. It felt more like November than October in Chicagoland. Rain all day long. Temperatures only in the low 50s. Fortunately, they were able to play the ball game, provided you were a Cubs fan, that is, as the Cubs and the Braves played. And the result was a Cubbies victory. They'll go at it again today, about 310 Central, 410 Eastern time. And for the ball game today, it looks very, very good. A lot of sunshine. You'll need it with a high of 54. Now here's Kelly with today's big view of the country. Well, here's the culprit, the cold front, if you will, moving east into the northeast, and that's going to be causing all that rain across upstate New York, right down the Hudson Valley. I know this is the time of the year we like to get out to the wineries and go to the orchards and pick some apples, but it looks like we will have showers in the region. To the south, though, we're still looking very good with high pressure controlling our weather from the Carolinas to the Gulf Coast, with the exception of South Florida, with the stationary front kind of stalled out in this area. Across the Plain States, cool and dry as an area of high pressure moves into Iowa, as well as the Quad Cities. And to Chicago. We are looking pretty good on your Saturday and across the Pacific Northwest. Just a couple of isolated showers. Now for more on our regional view in the Northeast, here's Bill. And Kelly looks pretty good out there right on the Cape Cod coastline right now. But watch out, that rain will come on into play later on this morning. 62 in Boston, 64 in Philadelphia. Southwest winds ahead of a front and then the front shifts 
and the temperatures come down quite a bit 52 that's all we can do later on we think in greater pittsburgh so heading out there to happy valley today big ball game in the big 10 penn state takes on the badgers and that'll be homecoming there will be the risk of rainfall tonight 45 in buffalo 57 in the city and by the way, the Red Sox at home, 59 degrees. Hopefully that rain, hopefully out of the picture later on. And then peering ahead to the day Sunday, most areas drying out for NFL Sunday. A tad warmer, 61 in New York, 64 in D.C. Now for more on the southeast, here's Kelly. All right, if you're heading out to the Smoky Mountain Harvest Festival going on in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, there will be a couple of showers out there today, so be prepared for that. Otherwise, nice weather from Charlotte to Atlanta. Of course, the Bulldogs are at home today. Looks like the weather will cooperate with NCAA action here. And over here in Dallas, we've got the fair going on. The state fair continues, and it looks like it will be dry, a high of 85 degrees. Watching out for that chance of showers and storms down around South Beach in Miami, and that may linger on into your evening plans. As you head out to dinner later on this evening, you may want to bring along the umbrella just in case. 9 o'clock temperatures cooling down nicely, but not as chilly as we've seen recently here in the southeast. Only about 65 degrees at 9 o'clock in Atlanta and more sunshine on tap for your Sunday with beautiful weather from Charlotte to Atlanta. Down towards Miami will be in the upper 80s. The Jaguars are at home tomorrow in Jacksonville. Looks like a pretty good day for that. There's your chance of wet weather, though, from Mississippi and Alabama westward to the Red River Valley. Now for a check on the Midwest, here's Bill. And a big day today on the north side, Kelly. As you well know, Wrigley Field hosting game four of the division series championship there with the Bravos and the Cubbies going at it. Weather-wise, looks a whole bunch better today. 56, the projected high. Skies ought to be partly cloudy. A good-looking day far the west. Check that out in the Peace Garden State, 63 Fargo. Great day out there by Custer State Park, 75 in Rapid City, South Dakota. Now the downside. Watch out downwind of Lake Superior and downwind of Lake Michigan. Maybe a flake or two thrown in there. So heading out around Mackinac City or out there on uh, Grand Traverse Bay. It's not going to be a real pleasant day, I'm afraid. Tonight looks pretty good around Chicagoland. A lot of folks in town still carrying over, maybe catching a late dinner after the ball game out there by Navy Pier. 47, the low around 9 o'clock. 50 in the Twin Cities and peering ahead to Sunday. Looks very good in many areas. 59, nearly 60 in Chicago. A great day out there by the Arch. 73 in St. Louis to close out the weekend. Now for that city view, here's Kelly. And let's start you off in New York City this morning, waking up to a temperature of 57 degrees. You can see some cloud cover over the city right now, and that will deliver rain throughout the day today. So do expect to see some showers out there in Central Park. The normal high for this time of the year, by the way, right around 68 degrees. And we're going to be getting into the low 60s. And you can see the radar already looking pretty ominous with those showers moving through northern New Jersey. So again, we'll see highs in the upper 50s to low 60s with a couple of showers coming in, especially later on this afternoon, cooling down to 57 at 9 o'clock. Let's head to another location now with Bill. And Kelly, here comes that rain for Boston. Look at that rain out there in the Berkshires starting to break out along the Mohawk Trail there between North Adams and Greenfield. Plenty more where that came from. Let's check out that forecast for the Boston area now. Game time about 7.30 tonight, 59 degrees. Unfortunately, some rain showers. Hopefully, they'll be dying out by game time. Checking on the forecast, low 60s, intermittent rain getting steadier for a while, then tapering down, we think, tonight. Kelly? Well, fall is here, of course, and the leaves are beginning to change. Coming up, we'll show you where you'll find the best leaf peeping this weekend. But the road crew and Kelsa Kinsley have their eyes on balloons this weekend. And Kelsa joins us now from Albuquerque Balloon Festival. And uh, Kelsa looks wonderful out there. Oh, it is uh, starting to happen here. The Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta is about to begin. The pilots are all standing around. There's going to be a briefing, and uh, they're going to actually let, they're going to discuss whether the weather is going to permit them to go up. The Dawn Patrol is scheduled to begin, which is uh, the big uh, lift up before sunset, so, or before sunrise. So that's what we're waiting for here. All right, Kelsa, we'll be checking back with you. Plus, we saw some of our first snow of the season, but will temperatures remain cold enough for more snow to fall? We'll have that answer coming up. Did those shipments get to Detroit this morning? Um, no. They're going to be a few days late. Did you use FedEx Express like I asked you? No. Remind me again why I keep you around here? You're my dad. When you need fast, reliable service, relax, it's FedEx. Grandpa, how come you always chug your mini measles? Because if Grandpa doesn't drink his fiber fast, he gets thick and gritty. Mommy doesn't suck her fiber? That's because Mommy found an easier way to take fiber. Benefiber. Benefiber? 
It never gets thick and gritty like Metamucil can. So Mommy doesn't have to check it. Benefiber is taste-free, too. Mommy can even put it in her coffee or yogurt. Mommy's pretty smart. <laughs> Benefiber. The choice is clear. From the dawn of time, there have been traditions. And mankind has always known it's just not a mix without the Chex. Chex Mix traditional flavor. Get into the mix. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the eggs. are in their full glory right now in the mountains of Colorado. Warm, shorter days and cool nights have turned the countryside into a spectacular golden shade. But if you're interested in getting a look, you better do it soon because that area of the country is in peak color right now and pretty soon that snow will begin to fly as it is right now just to the west across the highest peaks. But there we see the area shaded in red. That's where we have peak conditions, even some a little bit past peak across the high elevations of the Rocky Mountain states and in the northeast, looking at lots of gorgeous color from the Adirondacks through the Green and White Mountains of Vermont and New Hampshire. Well, now let's turn our attention to football. We're going to turn it over to Bill with our NCAA forecast. All right, Kelly, thanks a lot. Profiling a couple of games in the SEC and one in the Big 12 today, we have Auburn taking on the Tennessee Volunteers. First time they've met in four years, but Tennessee has won the last four times they've played. And out there at Jordan Hare today, it looks like the weather should be all systems go here. 7.45 to start time tonight. And once again, it ought to be generally clear skies. And I'm thinking that we're going to see temperatures probably in the mid-60s out there for the uh, 90,000 or so faithful. And you folks heading down from Knoxville down Interstate 81 or 75 or 59, you should be in very, very good shape. Next game, the Big 12 opener for a couple of teams here. K-State heading down into the area of Austin, Texas, taking on the Longhorns. Weather-wise here, it looks like a, a very good day, likewise. Not much fog out there this morning, so it looks pretty good. And once again, this ball game, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central Time. And your forecast looks like this, 85 degrees, south winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And I'm saying the misters will be on the sideline for this one. Moving on now, back to the SEC. Big ball game later on today in Athens, Georgia, between the hedges. Alabama comes to town, takes on the Bulldogs. And once again, this is a big ball game here. Last year, by the way, Georgia won on the road 27-25. And the forecast for Between the Hedges looks good. Maybe a little cloud cover in the morning, 77 degrees. And it looks like a uh, fair to partly cloudy day. West-south winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. So uh, for David Green and the Alabama quarterback, the weather should be cooperative. The wind should not be a factor. That's your NCAA football. And now back to Kelly. And now from the gridiron to the skies and our Weather Channel road crew and Kelsa Kinsley. Kelsa joins us from a beautiful part of the country, Albuquerque, New Mexico, where they are right in the middle of the balloon fiesta. Kelsa, have you had a chance to actually go up in one of those balloons? 
<laughs> well, unfortunately, the weather has not been cooperating, so no, I haven't got up in one of the balloons, but we certainly plan to, or hope to at least. And the interesting thing right now is there's a pilot briefing about to begin where they're going to give a talk to all of the pilots and let them know, in fact, it sounds like it's beginning right now, going to let them know whether they can actually go up because the Dawn Patrol is supposed to, is hopefully still going to happen this morning. That's when they all go up before sun uh, rise, and because of the propane is heated, it, it, the whole sky is basically lit up with all of the uh, balloons. So I've got one of the pilots here, and you're, can you just explain to me what's going to happen? What are, the, what are they going to talk to you about in the briefing and what you're looking for? And first of all, tell us your name. Okay, I'm Mike Despain from Great Falls, Montana. Okay. And uh, what they're going to do right now is give us a weather briefing. Uh, tell us what to expect throughout the day. So that's what we're waiting for. So what are we hoping they tell us? We're hoping we can fly. So what, what are we looking for? They're, they're the, uh, no inversions, uh, no rain, no lightning in the area or anything like that. So. And, but I can see lightning behind your head right now. Correct. So, so this is not hopeful, right? It, it doesn't look too good right now. But it's still possible. It's still possible. So, but when I look above me right now, I see no clouds. So why can't we all just go up? Sometimes clouds are good, sometimes they're bad. Uh, if the clouds move out pretty quick, that means there's, a, there's an inversion up there pushing them out of the way. So that's what they're going to tell us. So it all depends how quick all of this goes, passes. Correct. So what do you think the odds are? Uh, probably 25-75 right now. Say again? 25-75 uh, that we're not going to fly. 75% chance that we're not going to fly. But that's a 25% chance that we are. That we are, correct. <laughs> and even if we don't go up this morning, we could still go up this afternoon sometime. Yes, yes. Okay, so like I said, you guys, I'm still trying to get up in one of these balloons. No balloons have gone up yet, though, because of the weather. So mm. we're just hoping for some good weather. Well, we like your positive attitude, Cal, so looking at that 25%. <laughs> well, of course, the event lasts until the 12th of this month, and although the weather doesn't look like that great today, it looks like they should have beautiful ballooning weather in the days to come. And once again, Kelly, looking at the forecast for the area now, looks pretty good Sunday. Kelsey, good news here, Sunday and Monday, but then Tuesday we have a risk of rain, but it gets better again come Wednesday. Well, let's take a look at what the skies look like over Albuquerque. And again, we have, uh, we've we had blue skies earlier in the week. Take a look at this shot. Look at all those balloons up there. What a beautiful sight. And uh, you know what? I've actually been up in a balloon before, Bill. It's a little scary, but you get such a great view from up there as well. I've never done a balloon. I've done a blimp. Believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Same kind of principle, actually. Well, stay with us. We'll have more in your forecast, not just for Albuquerque, but for the rest of the country as Weekend Planner continues. The Weather Channel Road Crew was brought to you by the next Ford F-150. Bigger, stronger, smoother. America's best-selling trucks are built Ford Tough. A truck like this isn't built in a factory. It's built in the farms and fields, concrete streets and construction sites that map the landscape of an entire country. Because when Ford builds the new F-150, there are promises to keep. And only one truck earned the right to be the next F-150. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. Dear DirecTV, Cable says reception quality is poor with satellite TV. Lies! My reception is way better with DirecTV than it ever was with Cable. Sincerely, John Amenta. <laughs> Did I capture the guy's anger? Yeah? Thank you. Act now and get a three-room direct TV system, including equipment and installation, free. Cut! Tonight at 8 p.m., watch Storm Stories. Relive the power. Hurricane Andrew is now making landfall. Of the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. Devastation. Plus, a tornado rips through a house. Throwing mother and daughter 300 feet. How do they make it through? The house basically was gone. Watch Storm Stories on the Weather Channel tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Do you need up to $500 fast? Now you can get the cash you need without driving to a loan store. More bills than money? Just pick up the phone. Qualify in two minutes or less for up to $500. National Money Service can help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As one of the nation's largest providers of cash advances, we help thousands of people every day. 
Upon approval, money is electronically deposited directly into your bank account. You're welcome. The money you need will be in your account tomorrow. Thank you so much. What a relief. Let us help you with unplanned car repair bills, medical bills, household repairs, or anything else you need money for. So if you need up to $500 before your next paycheck, we can help. Call now. Call National Money Service now. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the 8th. Tropical storm Larry, a slow-moving system, and because of that, it's dumping large amounts of rain on the southern coast of Mexico, and the heavy rain has caused massive flooding in the area, making roads very difficult to navigate, as you can see here, and it forced the closing of three major ports to ship traffic. Well, the good news is Larry will not be having a direct impact on the United States, and we have a hurricane out there, too, in the Atlantic, and that is Kate, and fortunately, Kate will not be affecting the U.S. either. As we focus in on Kate, of course, we have the jet stream, our trough over the northeast. That's kind of helping to guide Kate toward the north, so we do expect Kate to stay away from the U.S., and we don't have any steering with Larry from our subtropical jet, so the result will be a slow, meandering storm, and result will be heavy rain for Mexico with more flooding and mudslides, unfortunately for them. Welcome back to Weekend Now. I'm Bill Keneally. And I'm Kelly Cass. Thanks so much for joining us on this Saturday. Time to take a look at our weather picture for the next seven days. We're going to do a little flip action. What do you say to that? <laughs> yeah, a little warm up in the east. Big time. Trough going. Bye-bye. There will be a trough, though, setting up shop, however, Kelly, in the west. And with that in mind, we're going to see the possibility of some locally heavy rainfall in time around the great northwest. But here we go. Wet and cold starting it out around Boston and New York. I know a really miserable day today, but it will be getting a whole bunch better tomorrow. Then there we go. Unsettled weather in the northwest. Could have some steady rain days coming up maybe into a Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday there in Portland and Seattle. So if you have to travel that long sojourn on I-5, keep that in mind. Meanwhile, back east will be drying out pretty nicely. Let's take a look now at what's going on in Atlanta. We have a big golf tournament going on, the World Golf Championships. There's Tiger and Sergio and Phil and the boys all out there. And weather here looks very, very good today and Sunday. Partly cloudy today, 76, the low 49. The wind should not be a factor. Let's come back and uh, check out these maps now day to day. Maybe some cloud cover building in Atlanta, but the rain should be light and sporadic over in Alabama, even on Sunday. Heading into Monday now, still a chance of rain. Atlanta to Charlotte may see some rain on 85 by that time. A little low, kind of stuck there on the coast. It'll kick out Tuesday. More showers in the Four Corners area. Hopefully, they'll get some good ballooning going on. Then we get into that pattern of wetness in Seattle and Portland, both on Wednesday and Thursday. System pulls out of the Rockies, lifting northbound. A big high, though, buckling the, uh, or bucking the trend here over the eastern states and thereby keeping it nice and warm. And it'll be bonafide Indian summer weather in suburban New York and Boston as we get into the day Friday. Initially, very chilly air in the Great Lakes area, starting out pretty warm east of the Cascades, but then that cools down substantially. And check it out here, Monday and Tuesday, we'll warm it up slowly but surely. We may see a 70 in D.C. by midweek.
Now for the latest conditions for your yard this week, here's the Lawn Report presented by Scott's. All right, fall is a great time of year to get those lawns in ship shape, especially as we go into hibernation this winter and our growing season comes to an end. Of course, for many of you across the upper Midwest, we've already had our first frost and freeze of the season, so we're not too concerned about mowing the lawn anymore. So that's certainly a good thing for this time of the year. Showers coming into western New York on your Sunday, otherwise mostly dry across the deep south for taking care of that edging and lawn mowing here. Scattered showers and thunderstorms affecting the Red River Valley on into Jackson, Mississippi and parts of Alabama as we go into the second half half of the weekend. We could use some rainfall out here in the west for our lawns and gardens, but that's just not in the picture, at least not for the next couple of days. Maybe way up there across the Puget Sound, we could see a couple of showers working in. Our best chance of wet weather will be right here across the southeast on Monday, and then that even gets out of here for Tuesday. But then finally, we have a little more green showing up on the map across the west. So finally, looks like we may be able to turn off the sprinklers at least for a little while. And I know Denver, you've listed, lifted the watering restrictions that you've had in place because we have had some wet weather recently. Well, let's take a look at some tips now. Fall again, a great time of year to treat the weeds in your lawn, especially the crabgrass, and it's also the best time to fertilize and seed your lawn. So get out there and do some work. Across in the south, Bermuda grass lawns can be overseeded now with an annual grass now through mid-October in most areas, and make sure you're killing those weeds when they are actively growing. Well, let's take a look at our drought monitor. Not too many problems here in the east, but lots of purple showing up here in the west. That's where we could stand to use some rainfall, and it looks like, oh, by about Tuesday and Wednesday that will happen. The crop moisture index showing the very wet conditions here in the east. No need for the sprinklers here, but you will need to turn them on occasionally across the south and the west. Now more tips. Wondering what to do for your lawn this weekend? In the south, put an end to fire ants while they're still active with Ortho Fire Ant Killer. For the rest of the country, now is a good time to do away with the last of your lawn weeds. Ortho Weed Be Gone makes it easy to kill lawn weeds without ever harming a blade of your grass. For your local lawn care needs, visit weather.com slash scots for expert advice to get a thicker, greener lawn. I am very proud of my lawn. We enjoy it as much as he does. Our neighbors usually ask me what I use, and I tell them. You know, I use Scott's Winterizer. He really cares. When you apply it in the fall, the food actually enters the root system. It stores it over the winter, and then in the spring, it perks that grass right up. It explodes, basically. Obviously, it's a critical step. He's tried other products, too. It just didn't work out. Scott's Winterizer gives me the last green lawn in the fall and the first green lawn in the spring. This watering needs index was brought to you by Scott's. In the beginning, it's always the same little lullaby, the same special toy, maybe the same expensive diapers to stop leaks. Ugh, maybe not. Things change, so change to loves. They cost less and they're guaranteed to work on leaks or your money back. Just call their no leaks phone number. How's he gonna get a guarantee like that? I can't even guarantee I'll get a shower every day. Oh. Live and learn and then get loves. Hello, Lanza and Linda, may I help you? Hi, Linda. I am taking a trip to the Canadian Rockies with my husband, hey. and I need to get a jacket for him. We have a brand new Marinac jacket. It has a wind check barrier in between two fleeces, hmm. so it's gonna make it windproof. Right. It's gonna block the rain. How much is it, Jay's? It's cheap. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> it's forty nine fifty. You're kidding. No, it's a wonderful price. The Marinac stops wind, blocks rain. Just forty nine fifty at landsend.com. And welcome back to Weekend Planner. So glad you could join us on this Saturday morning. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Bill Keneally. And good news back east to anybody wanting to get out there early in the next uh, four or five days, Kelly. Warmer air coming down the pike here. We'll have to deal with a chilly one Sunday, though, but thereafter it's going to get warmer. Look at the lows around 40 on Monday in Columbus, Ohio. Further moderating those that get into the daytime on Tuesday. Now, it will still be a little nippy, but thereafter we should start to warm it nicely. The Rocky Mountain states will be cooler, especially in the northwest. And then look at the Gulf Coast. That is not too shabby. Wednesday and a Thursday, look at this big warm up here in the heartland. We're looking at lows around 60 maybe on Thursday mm. in the Twin Cities area. Pretty nice. Yeah, quite a change there. We'll have the forecast for your part of the country when Weekend Planner continues. And plus, we'll be heading back to Albuquerque and checking in with the road crew and Kelsey Kinsley, see if that rain is holding off and allowing the balloons to lift on off. We're back after your local on the 8s. An expedition in, in wellness. She had a, 
I worry about her cholesterol. Being... Basically, it's a bowl of Quaker oatmeal every day for 30 days. Just gobbles up that cholesterol. Definitely helps reduce your cholesterol. I want to know how it works, but how does it work, Nick? Well, I, I would... Absorbs the cholesterol. It has to. That's probably why he's smiling. It just kind of... Eats it all up. You can't help but be a little bit nervous when your daughter's out there on the highway. My best friend Jessica and I are taking a trip to visit three colleges. All you can really do is make sure the car is in good shape and then have confidence in the daughter that you've raised. Before we left on our trip, my dad and I took the car to Walmart for new tires and stuff. She's got new Goodyear tires and a new EverStart battery, so her mom and I feel pretty good about it. It's my first time to be on a trip without my parents, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's her first time to be on a trip without us, and it's no fun at all. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the 8th. a chance that you could see an isolated thunderstorm in Miami today. So if you are headed out to game four of the Giants and Marlins series, take along your umbrella just in case. And the rain is making us move into the northeast and it's going to be a chilly and a rainy day all around for places like New York, Philadelphia, and even into Washington, D.C. Kelsa Kinsley here with the Weather Channel Road Crew in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The pilot briefing is going on for the balloon fiesta very soon. We'll know if they'll be able to launch or not. So keep watching Weekend Planner. Live from the Weather Channel, this is Weekend Planner. Well, good morning and welcome back to your Weekend Planner. I'm Kelly Cash. And I'm Bill Keneally. Thank you again for joining us and making us a part of your Saturday morning. Next couple of days ought to be a roller coaster out there, Kelly, in the Northeast as we're talking about. Washington, D.C., 59 yesterday, 15 degrees below average, but the winds of change are blowing and the rain is moving into the area this morning. The temperatures will be warmer, but just wait. You're going to get cold again and then warmer again by the middle of next week. Now with more in today's Big View of the Country, here's Kelly. Well, we're going to talk about some welcome changes here. We have that persistent trough in the east, and that's been keeping it pretty cool and also wet, as you know, from Chicago over towards South Bend and certainly over towards Rochester, New York. But as we go through the weekend and eventually by next week, we'll have high pressure moving in, and that will mean a warm-up for you in the northeast where temperatures finally return to average. We'll have little chance of precipitation, so it looks like some drier air is ahead. As we take a look at your big view for today, there's the front on the go here moving across the northeast, bringing in the soggy conditions. 
conditions across the Adirondacks down toward the Catskill Mountains in the Poconos looking at a chance of rain for you. High pressure keeping it cool and very nice across the south. In fact, for many of you where we've had below average temperatures, we're going to actually warm things up a little bit as that cold front approaches. We'll have a southerly wind increasing our temperature. High pressure moving in for later on this evening. Chicago's Wrigley Field getting a chance to dry out for the big game tonight. Now for more on our regional view, here's Bill. Kelly, it's October and we have painted a little pink on the map. Hopefully it's not going to materialize where you're driving, but the peaks on the uh, Mount Washington Auto Road, for instance, may see a little freezing rain at the onset there. That's what we're showing. Otherwise, it'll be a little warmer today. 62 in Boston, 64 in Philadelphia. Good chances of rain. I know in Philadelphia, the Delaware Valley, and now the Hudson Valley, rain has moved on in. It will be heavy for a little while. By this evening, though, the bulk of the rain done with hopefully better news at Fenway. There will be rain, though, between now and game time, which is about 730 tonight. But the bulk of that should be tapering down thereafter. 58 in Center City, Philly. 60 out in D.C. in the mall about the 9 o'clock hour. And looking ahead to the day Sunday, still some lake effect rain downwind of Lake Ontario. So Buffalo to Rochester to Syracuse. Factor that in. 61 Boston, 63 Philadelphia skies will be partly cloudy for NFL Sunday. Now for more on the southeast, here's Kelly. Well, if it's not October Fest or Fall Festival, we've actually got a swamp fest going on here in Audubon Zoo in New Orleans. So if you're taking the kids out to enjoy that, looks like the weather will cooperate with your plans. 85 degrees for a high temperature. Here in Miami, we have the Hispanic Heritage Festival going on at Bayfront Park. There will be a couple of showers and storms around a high of 87. Otherwise, dry for the big football game out there in Athens, Georgia. Comfortable temperatures through the Carolinas, getting up to 74 in Charlotte. 9 o'clock this evening looks great for that walk after dinner. Temperatures in the low to mid-60s by 9 o'clock. Best chance of wet weather right there across the Red River Valley between Texas and Oklahoma. And again, here in South Florida, there could be some lingering showers out there as well and we bring that into your Sunday forecast too but otherwise looking dry for that stretch of I-95 through the Carolinas the wet weather though moving into Mississippi and Alabama let's head to the Midwest now with Bill and Kelly I think the worst is now behind us now around the Chicagoland area it looks pretty good today we'll call it a partly cloudy day right about 56 degrees and I know game time around three o'clock or so at Wrigley and we should be dry the tarp should be long gone by that time 50 in the Green Bay area could be a little snow mixed in with that rain at least early on today so watch out there traipsing about checking out that beautiful color in the birch tree forest up there around Escanaba or around uh, Mackinac City but otherwise looks pretty good I think anywhere west of Lake Michigan moonlit skies out there tonight we have a waxing moon going full in a few days 50 in the Twin Cities 61 a beautiful evening around Omaha Good day ahead for shopping around the plaza in KC, projecting a high of 76 and a tad warmer, pushing 60 in Chicago. Now for that city view, here's Kelly. And we have temperatures in the 50s in New York City this morning, taking a look at the cloud cover over the skyline. It will be that kind of day, a mostly cloudy day. Temperatures in the low 60s, and keep in mind our average high for this time of the year, right around 68 degrees. But all week long, we've been pretty much staying in the 50s. So even though we have the rain headed our way, things are warming up a little bit for us. Sussex, New Jersey, reporting some light rain. That rain also scooting into the lower Hudson Valley of New York along the Beacon Newburgh Bridge. So again, keep the umbrellas handy if you're heading out to any outdoor events this afternoon or this evening. Temperatures peaking in the upper 50s to low 60s. Now for a check on another city, here's Bill. Kelly, Atlanta looks pretty good right now. The radar bears out. Things are nice and quiet. It should stay that way all day today, too. Sky's going partly cloudy, mid-70s. As warm a day as we've had in probably a week's time. Get out there and enjoy it. A lot going on today, too, including the World Golf Championships up in Woodstock, Georgia, north of downtown. 72 by 1 o'clock and about 75 at the 4 o'clock hour. Light west winds, not a factor for the golfers. Kelly? Well, we have much more to come here on Weekend Planner, including the Weather Channel road crew live from the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. And that's where Kelsa Kinsley is right now. Looks like quite a spectacle. Hopefully you'll be able to get off the ground, Kelsa. You know what? It's not looking like it. That's exactly what's going on right now. All of these people you see standing around me are pilots and crew. And the guy up there that you just, he just finished speaking was giving a weather report and letting everybody know whether they can actually go up or not. And I have to say, it's not looking good. But there's still hope for later on, but it's probably not going to happen this morning. So that's what's going on here. Back to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Kel. So the weather's not looking great in areas of the Northeast either. Showers are in your forecast. Not picture perfect for traveling. We'll let you know if the wet weather will cause any delays when weekend planner returns. According to the Wall Street Journal, indoor air pollution can be up to five times worse than the air outdoors. Clean air can be the difference between living comfortably or being miserable. Sharper Image introduces the ultimate clean air solution, the patented Ionic Breeze Quadra. 
Exclusive Xenion technology cleans and circulates air without a fan or filters and is totally silent. Here's how it works. First, the ionic breeze positively charges the incoming air. Then the air is pulled toward the negatively charged grid like a magnet. The positively charged contaminants attach to the collection grid, and then the cleaned air is accelerated into the room, creating a fresh, clean smell. Cleaning takes only minutes. Just pull out the collection grid, wipe it with a damp cloth or sponge, and slip it back in. It's that simple. Studies have proven the ionic breeze removes allergens such as pollen and animal dander. It even removes airborne bacteria and some harmful chemicals from carpeting, paint, and household cleaners. It powers through smoke and offensive odors and leaves your house smelling fresh and clean. Don't be misled by the prices of other filters. Over five years, hidden costs of filter replacements and electricity can add up to over $1,000. The Ionic Breeze Quadra requires no filters and uses almost no electricity. Try it in your home for two months. If you don't love it, send it back. Sharper Image will give you a full refund. Through this exclusive offer, Sharper Image will send you a free bathroom Ionic Breeze. This compact plug-in helps even dirty bathrooms smell fresh and clean 24 hours a day. The $69 Bathroom Ionic Breeze is yours free when you order today. And that's not all. Call now and be sure to ask about free shipping. Call 1-800-874-8937. Help eliminate chemicals, allergens, and odors with the Ionic Breeze Quadra. That's 1-800-874-8937. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the ace. Got some changes ahead. Welcome back. You're watching Weekend Planner. And as we go through time, well, guess what? That cool, wet air you've been experiencing from the Great Lakes to the Northeast, that will give way to some sunshine and warmer temperatures as that stubborn trough moves out. High pressure moves in next week, and that will mean drier air coming into places like Detroit, New York City, all the way down to our nation's capital, and temperatures finally getting back to where they should be for this time of the year. And hey, welcome back. We'll uh, Bill Keneally here alongside Kelly Cass. And Kelly, we have a uh, Pretty wet day unfolding, I'm afraid, on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, we're just looking at that radar, looking pretty bad now over Pennsylvania, New Jersey. That rain's starting to move in. Melissa Barrington joins us now from our travel desk to talk about any delays you may encounter and certainly areas where you may need to slow it down. And, Melissa, I see the main line out of Philadelphia. Not a very pretty ride right now. Definitely isn't. We're dealing with scattered showers, as you mentioned. Fortunately, though, for folks who are traveling to the airport to catch their flight, there aren't any travel delays at this time. However, later on this evening, we could see some problems across areas of the Northeast, especially around the New York City area and also around Newark, maybe even Washington, D.C. There are delays, though, right now out of San Francisco, about 25 minutes or so, generally due to low ceilings. And later today, speaking of the West, we could also see some problems out of Albuquerque, where we've actually had showers this morning and also a lot of lightning in the vicinity 
salinity. In fact, it's raining there right now and 54 degrees. Here's a look at some destinations across the Northeast, and it will be a wet ride here from time to time along the I-95 corridor of Boston all the way down towards New York City. Wetter conditions, though, as you work your way in towards interior portions of New York State. Around Washington, D.C. already this morning, some damp conditions with some light showers in the vicinity. The rain has not moved into New York City just yet, but you know what? It is just your west, and it's just going to be a matter of time before it reaches you. So if you need to get outside real early this morning before the rain gets in, well, do it quickly because the rain is already into eastern parts of Pennsylvania. Also, if you're traveling along I-80 here in parts of Pennsylvania today, we'll see showers from time to time. Allow for a little extra time, especially if you're uh, checking out some of the fall foliage here. You Today is not going to be a picture-perfect day to do that. Tomorrow will be better. Otherwise, around Cleveland, still some scattered showers as you work your way along the Great Lakes. Maybe even South Bend, you could even see a sprinkle or two. As we take you into portions of Florida, most of Florida actually looking at dry conditions. However, around Miami, up towards Melbourne, we could see some scattered showers hours developing later on today. But as you continue up the coastline here along I-95, well, improving conditions, especially if you do have that golf game planned here in the Carolinas, looks spectacular. I-40 here from Tennessee over into portions of Oklahoma. We're looking at scattered showers here around Oklahoma City to Amarillo. Most of this rainfall will be light but dry as you start out your commute in Tennessee. And also, if you're traveling in the southwestern U.S., we take you along I-70 through portions of Colorado. Some of those higher elevations here could see some areas of rain mixing in with snowfall. The International Balloon Fiesta going on today. Chance of showers and storms and 65 degrees. Overall, not a picture perfect day here for flights, but a spectacular day in Tampa for the boat show. Look at this. Lots of sunshine and 88 degrees. So for folks who are headed out, Bill and Kelly, I'd say the Northeast is not picture perfect today. Not picture perfect today. And I'm sure Kelsey Kinsley would like you to change that forecast for Albuquerque, <laughs> Melissa. I'm sure she would. I wish we could get rid of those storms, but there's lightning in the vicinity. Uh, that's not a good thing. All right. Thanks, Melissa. Well, if you ever doubted that you needed an emergency preparedness kit for your home, just take into account the millions affected by Hurricane Isabel. And meteorologist Jennifer Lopez has some tips for you and what you should include in your home emergency kit. Natural disasters often occur with little warning. A sudden storm could leave you without water, electricity, or phone for days. Without a few necessary supplies, you may find it hard to get by. So prepare in advance. Organize an emergency disaster kit for you and your family. Begin with the basics, flashlights, fresh batteries, canned food, bottled water, and a first aid kit. Include a few other things too, like a manual can opener, a battery powered radio, a change of clothes, and a little money. Also look into having an alternative power source for your home. Portable generators can provide short-term power. Permanent ones can automatically come on to power everything you need in your home. Backup power and an emergency kit are two ways to ensure that when disaster strikes, you'll be prepared to ride out the storm. For the Weather Channel, I'm Jennifer Lopez. Well, don't go away. We'll have an update on Tropical Storm Larry coming up. And more on where the fall colors are peaking and where your best chance is of catching some spectacular views. That'll be in the weeks ahead. we right back, folks, after your local on the 8th. Stay with us. This program was brought to you by Subaru, driven by what's inside. by what's inside. Subaru, driven by what's inside. Dum, da, da, da. Dum, da, da, lemon Twist V8 Juice has a refreshing squeeze of lemon. It's another way to get your full serving of vegetables. Sometimes it's the only way. Lemon Twist V8. Tonight at 8 p.m., watch Storm Stories. Relive the power. Hurricane Andrew is now making landfall of the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. Devastation. Plus, a tornado rips through a house. Throwing mother and daughter 300 feet. How did they make it through? The house basically was gone. 
Watch Storm Stories on the Weather Channel, tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Is this how you trim your lawn? Or is this your method? Why hassle with trimmer spools that tangle, jam, and never work? Make your life easier with the Weed Thrasher, the fast and easy system specifically designed for your gas-powered trimmer. Ordinary trimmer spools jam and get tangled, and those expensive plastic cutting blades can break and shatter. Weed Thrasher's monster cutters are tougher. They can't tangle. They last a lot longer, and installing them is a snap. Extra tall grass? Give it a thrashing. Annoying brush? Give it a thrashing. Through this special TV offer, you'll get the Weed Thrasher head and 12 tough monster cutters for only $19.99. Call now and get rush delivery absolutely free. As a preferred TV buyer, ask your operator how to get free monster cutters. So order your Weed Thrasher now. To get your Weed Thrasher and monster cutters, call 1-800-396-5599. Get a free upgrade to rush delivery and ask about free monster cutters. Call 1-800-396-5599. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the ace. Welcome back. Time now for that tropical update. And lest we forget, early October tends to have a lot of action, and this one is no exception. We have Hurricane Kate. We also have a tropical storm, Larry, out there. Where's your hurricane? It's very, very evident right about here. The good news is trough-low pressure, though, developing. And as that trough does develop, it'll likely coax Larry or make that Kate northbound. Now, eventually, it may come into play around St. John's, Newfoundland. We'll have to watch that very carefully. First up, though, Hurricane Kate, a Category 3 hurricane on the Sapper Simpson scale. Top winds are 115 miles an hour. And note that meandering is done. Now, the good news here, I know Bermuda is right about in here, but we are very confident that the system will start making that turn, then heading up. But I would want to caution everybody up around Newfoundland, at least in eastern Newfoundland, to keep apprised what's going on. Again, it's now at 30.3 north and 52.2 west as of the 5 a.m. advisory. Formidable looking hurricane indeed. Check it out. Look at that track of that eye generally lumbering to the west northwest and uh, pretty discernibly to that direction. Although we are starting to see a little evidence now of a turn and I think more of a turn here a little more exponentially later on tonight and during the daytime on Sunday. So I know it looks pretty impressive, but I think Bermuda, outside of maybe some high swells, you are pretty much off the hook. Caribbean Sea, pretty quiet these days. Watching the Gulf of Mexico, however, we have a tropical storm down here. That is Larry, still putting out very, very heavy rain, flooding rain going on in a lot of Mexico, especially in this area from Campeche to Veracruz. Once again, top winds are 60 miles an hour. This system, though, is mainly a big rain producer right now. And once again, there's some evidence it may start drifting more towards the southwest. So this area between, say, Tuspan and Veracruz, watch out. There could be some heavy rain. Also have a tropical storm warning up for the area. In addition, a hurricane watch just in case this were to intensify further. It is sitting out there in the Bay of Campeche in water that is about 84, 85 degrees. In the Pacific, we also have a hurricane. Hurricane Nora is out there. 
Hurricane Nora has winds of 85 miles per hour. We also have Tropical Storm Olaf. Thankfully, both of these are sitting offshore and not necessarily heading to land anytime soon. Kelly? Well, let's take a look at our chance for storms across the lower 48, and already we've got lightning strikes out there in New Mexico, and that's why the balloons have not launched out there in Albuquerque. So we'll keep an eye out for the storms in New Mexico, as well as Colorado and Texas, and also some isolated storms over South Florida. But there you can see all the lightning strikes going on right now in New Mexico. That's pretty much the only stormy area that we have so far this morning, but we do have some rain that's affecting those of you in the northeast, say from Buffalo and Rochester east to Elmira, Binghamton, down towards Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and moving into Philadelphia, Sussex, New Jersey, getting some light rain, too. And there's your radar in Florida. So far, so good. But again, watch out later today. And we're looking to the skies. When Weekend Planner continues, we're going to hit the road again, heading to New Mexico with Kelsa Kinsley. Plus, we'll have the forecast for your part of the country, including a look at New York City, where the rain is about to move in. Temperatures are currently in the upper 50s with cloudy skies. Stay with us. Wouldn't it be convenient if getting your weather was this easy? Now it is. Desktop weather by The Weather Channel. Always right here on your computer with all you need for every kind of weather. Always on. Convenient. Free. From weather.com. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from The Weather Channel through this radio station. You can't help but be a little bit nervous when your daughter's out there on the highway. My best friend Jessica and I are taking a trip to visit three colleges. All you can really do is make sure the car is in good shape and then have confidence in the daughter that you've raised. Before we left on our trip, my dad and I took the car to Walmart for new tires and stuff. She's got new Goodyear tires and a new EverStart battery, so her mom and I feel pretty good about it. It's my first time to be on a trip without my parents, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's her first time to be on a trip without us, and it's no fun at all. There's nothing like the taste of Nathan's hot dogs on the grill, even when you have to cook indoors. Introducing Nathan's Reversible Stovetop Grill and Griddle. It lets you enjoy the great taste of grilling all year long. Nathan's grill fits securely over two stovetop burners. The nonstick grilling surface gives your hot dogs the look and taste of real grilling. It's the best way to cook hamburgers, grill up some mouth-watering chicken breasts, and enjoy a whole mess of shrimp. It's the healthy way to cook, too, because the fat just drains away. Set the burners for two different temperatures, and you can cook salmon steaks on one side while you grill vegetables on the other. And look, turn your Nathan's grill over, and it's now a griddle. Prepare bacon and eggs quicker than ever before. Cook up sausages and home fries at the same time, and make enough pancakes for the whole family at once. Take it outdoors, and you can even fry your eggs on the barbecue. And unlike your barbecue, you can clean it quickly and easily. There's more. Nathan's reversible stovetop grill and griddle is also a defrosting tray. The superconductive aluminum thaws even rock-hard food in minutes. Now you can thaw your food quickly and naturally to retain all the juice and flavor. Nathan's Reversible Stovetop Grill and Griddle is yours for only $19.95. But wait! Call now and we'll include this incredible gripping whisk absolutely free. It's more than just a whisk. It's also a gripper, a spatula and turner. It's even a drainer. Plus, we'll give you this Nathan's French Fry Pan that lets you make perfect crisp fries in the oven quickly and easily. Nathan's Reversible Stovetop Grill and Griddle is not sold in stores, so order now. To order your Nathan's Reversible Stovetop Grill and Griddle for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling, call 1-800-491-8091 or send check or money order to Nathan's Grill to Morgan Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut or call 1-800-491-8091. What an incredible sight. This is the kind of backdrop you want for the balloon fiesta going on in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Unfortunately, that's not the case today. Kelsa Kinsley, the road crew on the road this morning, and it's a very incredible event out there, Kelsa. I understand to fill some time here, you're going to give us some fun facts on what's happening out there in New Mexico these days. I am. Absolutely, because we're in holding pattern as far as launching the balloons go. Yes, I have some interesting New Mexico facts for you. First one being, uh, it's the fifth largest state in the country. 25% is forested and uh, only 8.9 inches of rain per year. And we've been uh, getting some of that the past few days, unfortunately. Back to you guys. Well, hoping for better weather ahead, Kel. So thanks so much. We'll be checking back with you as Weekend Planner continues. And more on all the baseball venues today, Miami, Boston, and Minnesota, and Chicago. That's coming up.